Hi, this is Steve Rothstein from Rothstein Model Trains with another unboxing video for you. Another set of trains came in. Uh, this one's a kind of an unusual one for us. It's a first in several ways. It's the first German railroad we've got. So this one's a model of a old German railroad. Technically it's uh, Bavarian before it was German. It's a era one which is classified generally as from the invention of railroads up till about the end of World War One. It's a 060 wheel arrangement class D2 steam locomotive and some antique train cars with it. These are in the colors and markings for the Royal Bavarian State Railways and I cannot pronounce it in German even though I did take German and lived there for a little bit. But we're going to show it to you. It is DCC controlled. It has no sound on it. The real locomotive was actually made starting in about 1898. If I can get this box to open again. There we go. And these are pretty neat little detailed cars. You can see all the fine detail on it they did a good job i don't know how realistic because i've never seen the real ones obviously one of the unique parts about the german and most european railroads is they use these bumpers on each car front and rear to help um, absorb the slack so that they don't get a lot of jerking and all on it And let me get this one on the track. So, as you can see from comparison to the relatively recent, like, post-World War II train behind it, they were tiny. This is designed for hauling freight, and we're going to put the freight cars on it. And the freight cars were also fairly unique back then, first being small. But one of the things we didn't have was interconnected brakes. So on every car, there was a housing for the brake man to be able to run up and hit the brakes on that car. Um, I don't know if there's any particular order needed for these as being correct. So I'm going to do it this way. See, there's that break, breakman's house for that. So we bought a set of the freight cars and the locomotive. These are also the first things we owned by the company, Mini Tricks but it's a real educational experience for us for different reasons. First European style, the first, the oldest train we've got, uh, and antique cars. I'm gonna try it now. Um, they do have an interesting lighting system on it. Go to the headlights. So they've got the two headlights, but then they've also got an oncoming train light is what they call it. I do not know why the one is set separately or not. And they are directional, so when I go in reverse, it should have them all working on the back end of the looking at it. Let's see how this will go. There it's got it now. It is weird not having any sound on these, but because I'm used to the sound now. Okay. okay, so what's real interesting is this train moves very slowly. The original spec for the prototype is top speed of 28 miles an hour 
And if you think of it in 1898, that was a high speed for things to hit. When we first got into trains in this country, there were people who said that humans couldn't breathe if the train was going 60 miles an hour. Now, we went faster than that by that time, but by 1898, but it is not unusual to see it. And now you're getting to see the part of the of layout Chris was working on where we're building that mountain and laying out the valley in between. Eventually we're going to have, starting at both ends, we've got that end with the mountain on it and we'll start working it up. And on the other side of the track, we still have the park with the lake and we're going to work that up with the town back at this end behind it. Where I think you'll see me running this train more often, because it's so slow, I'm going to take advantage of how small it is and probably run it on our trolley loop when I'm not running trolleys. That way it doesn't interfere with running the other trains. And I think that it's small enough to handle those really tight curves. But I do find it interesting. Um, really neat that they had trains that old that look like this. We've got a couple of other antique trains on order, but they're all American. I may branch out and look at more European stuff. I like some of the modern and post-World War II English trains, like the uh, Flying Scotsman and things like that. If I got the name right. I think that's what they called it. They had some real interesting train stuff. We may branch out and start seeing some European trains on the layout. At least there's no doubt this one fits in that station though. <laughs> <laughs> but that's our latest acquisition. It's an expansion of the hobby into European and into much older historical trains. I don't know yet. We'll see where it goes from here. Thank you. That's what we got for this week. Have a nice day.